Dear friends, this is an unedited FECO emulsification of an intumescent cataract. Incision has been given at 11 o'clock. Now a side port is being made at 8 o'clock. Now a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and underneath this air bubble the anterior capsule is stained with tripon blue dye with a 27 gauge cannula. Now the dye is washed out with direct Simco cannula and then viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Now another side port is to be made for introducing the chopper. This side port is made at around 2 o'clock. Now capsulorexis is to be done. A bent cystitum is taken and incision is given right at the center of the intumescent cataract. Oily fluid comes out. Now an uterator forceps is taken and a very small rexis, I call it a mini rexis, is performed in this way. Once this is done, a di direct Simco cannula is taken and some superficial cortical substance is aspirated. This reduces the intralenticular pressure and the risk of Argentine flag sign is diminished drastically. So once this is done, viscoelastic substance is used. We use 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here it is. Now a venous scissor is taken and a cut is given at around 9 o'clock of the margin of the minirexis. Uterator forceps is again taken and an optimum sized rexis is performed this time. This is a fairly round, nice, continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now the FECO handpiece is introduced. This is a soft intumescent cataract. Now I usually do direct chop. In this case, while I was going to chop it, the lens stood on its equator. So I just divided into two halves and started engulfing it using FECO energy. At this time, the FECO power was 45, vacuum was 200, and flow rate was 40. This is Upper Summit's Galaxy CV1 machine. Now the nucleus is almost taken, few small fragments are there. Epinucleus is absent in this case. So I just have to remove the cortical fibers sticking to the equator of the lens. A direct Simco cannula is taken and cortical cleanup is done. One can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration system. I also use bimanual irrigation aspiration proofs sometimes, but most of the time this instrument is enough for cortical cleanup. Yes, it is done. Now, 
viscoelastic substance is again injected no in this case viscoelastic substance is not injected the iol is being implanted under irrigation this is a hydrophilic acrylic iol made by upper some associates it is called nespro so very beautiful aspheric lens now side ports are hydrated and moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber now a last wash is given using balanced salt solution this is an unedited fake and i hope you have enjoyed watching it please give me your feedback thank you very much for watching the video